Sugar is a vital source of energy and essential for our survival. But eating too much sugar can be responsible for many health issues. We don't have much concern about the natural sugar found in fruits and vegetables, such as fructose and lactose. However, the sugar found in processed foods is in our control and still most of us consume too much of it. The added sugar in the foods makes them taste sweet, which can include natural sugars like honey and syrup. This sugar contributes more in calories but is low in terms of vitamins and minerals. From peanut butter to marinara sauce, added sugar can be found in many unexpected products. Unfortunately, many people rely on processed foods for their daily calorie intake containing added sugar. The dietary guidelines recommended limiting the calorie intake from added sugar to less than 10% per day. Experts believe that the overconsumption of this processed sugar is responsible for obesity and type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, the high sugar diet can raise your blood pressure, increase free radicals, and boost inflammation. As a general rule, you should limit the foods that contain processed sugar, such as soft drinks, fruit drinks, cakes, cookies, bread, sweet snacks, ice cream, and ice pops. In this video, we will see what happens when you start eating too much sugar. Hi guys, welcome to Top News Age. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications from Top News Age. Today we're going to look at What happens when you start eating too much sugar? Let's get started! Increased hunger and weight gain Increased hunger and weight are some of the first signs you will observe when consuming too much sugar. It's satisfying for our taste buds but does not fill our stomachs. Our body burns through sugar quickly and ramps up hunger without protein, fiber and healthy fats. So, consuming too much sugar can promote weight gain in adults and children. Moreover, too much added sugar consumption damages our ecosystem and body's self-defense system. High sugar damages our fat hormones including lipids, which inhibit hunger. Irritability If you're feeling irritable and on edge, only stress cannot be the reason for this. It can be due to the consumption of too much sugar. Eating too much sugar can lead to inflammation, worsened mood, and serious symptoms of depression. The high sugary diet without protein and fat can quickly spike up the blood sugar, but when our body rushes to process all of it, the energy level crashes, making you feel sluggish and irritable. Also, your insulin levels spike and the blood glucose level in the brain decreases. The important thing is that, that you have to pay attention to your diet. If you're feeling irritable after eating a snack at the same time every day, this can be due to excess sugar. Fatigue and low energy. Sugar is one of the easily absorbing and digesting ingredients which can make you feel fatigued. So if you're feeling fatigued or low on energy, it can be due to the sugar you're getting in your diet. It's a quick energy boosting source, regardless of how much you're eating at a time. You will feel hungry after 30 minutes. It's due to the large swing of the blood sugar and insulin, which cause the energy levels to plummet and affect your body's overall energy. Foods don't taste sweet enough. If you're eating too much sugar in your regular routine, you have to notice that the foods do not taste as sweet as they used to. So, if you need to add sugar to make your usual foods taste good, it means that you're getting too much sugar to begin with. The difference will be more noticeable when you shift from flavored yogurt to plain yogurt. When you train your brain with a higher level of sweetness, it's harder to feel satisfied with less sweet foods. Your brain is primed to expect sweet high levels. Moreover, if you're going to replace the sugar with artificial sweeteners, you should give it a second thought as the sugar substitutes are much sweeter than the actual sugar. Craving for Sweets Sugar targets our brain's pleasure center and make you addicted to feel good after eating. It triggers our so-called happy hormone dopamine. Our brain plays an important role in affecting our cravings for sugar. Eating sugar decreases dopamine which raises the cravings for sugar and leads us to a vicious cycle. When we ingest the sugar, our blood sugar spikes up and our body releases the insulin to lower it to a safer level. If the blood sugar level is a bit too low, we feel craving for food. Fortunately, you can improve these cravings by focusing on the small meals and snacks that are comprised of real and whole foods. High blood pressure Too much added sugar in our daily diet can be responsible for hypertension. And sugar-sweetened beverages are significantly associated with higher blood pressure and a higher incidence of hypertension. A high glucose level can be responsible for damaging the blood vessels lining and sticking the lipids to the wall of the blood vessels. 
you may face hardening of the vessel when this happens, which is responsible for high blood pressure. Sugar is also responsible for weight gain, increasing the chances of high blood pressure. Acne and Wrinkles If you're battling with acne and wrinkles, you should pay attention to how much sugar you eat in your daily routine. Our skin is made up of collagen and elastin, which keep our skin supple and soft. But when we eat too much sugar, the collagen molecules start cross-linking and cause our skin to lose elasticity. Glycemic control plays a significant role in skin health and acne, so insulin resistance can influence the development of acne. All the products with excess sugar can encourage skin aging. Although cutting the sugar cannot reverse skin damage, but it can slow down the progression. Joint pain The joint pain may not be due to your age alone. Excess sugar eating also plays an important role in joint pain. Too much sugar consumption releases the pro-inflammatory proteins called cytokines, whose high levels can cause chronic inflammation such as pain, swelling, and stiffness of joints. Although cutting the sugar may not be a magic bullet for you to relieve the joint pain, as there are several causes of joint pain, but it can help you to control joint pain. Sleep Issues If you're not getting proper sleep, you have to focus on your diet. The poor sleep quality can be related to the higher consumption of added sugars. Sometimes, the sleepiness also leaves you with a craving for more sugar. People having diets with high sugar tend to sleep less deeply and display greater restlessness at night. In worst cases, high sugar intake can also be responsible for insomnia, which is a common sleep disorder. It can make you still feel tired after waking up good. Digestive Issues There can be many reasons for stomach pain, cramping, or diarrhea. Your doctor can perfectly guide you about it, but too much sugar is a known gut irritant, which can be responsible culprit for digestive issues. It's especially bad for those who have underlying health conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, or ulcerative colitis. It can also be due to replacing the foods such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains with high sugar foods. Let us know in the comments if you're facing any of these problems and please make sure to consult with your doctor first. What happens when you start eating too much sugar? Increased hunger and weight gain. Irritability. Fatigue and low energy. Foods don't taste sweet enough. Craving for sweets. High blood pressure. Acne and wrinkles. Joint pain. Sleep issues. Digestive issues. Hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, comment, and share it. See you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.